What's going on guys, Chris Reddick here, and today we are going to Logan Steel. I am powder coating a subframe, an S14 subframe for the Skyline, and we are also powder, powder coat, you better cut that. We're also powder coating a um, valve cover for a Miata. I don't really know what color I want to do it yet, and I don't know which car it's actually going to go on. I just figured I'd bring it just because I had it laying around. I had it on the blown motor, and I took it off before we left um, last night. So, going to Logan Steel, we are... 17 minutes away, so we'll start filming when we get there. Yeah. How you doing? Hmm. Did you see the uh... Yeah, he just gave me a full tour. I showed him everything. Yeah, this showed. place is gigantic. It is. some sandblasting and some powder coating. So and here we got this rusty piece of garbage that we're going to transform into something nice if we can get it out of the trunk. Okay, um, and that subframe, uh, what's it off of? This is um, out of uh, S14. I'm going to put it in my Skyline. Cool. And then that's just a Miata valve cover. Okay. Bring a couple more down. We'll get some different colors there. Cool. Thank God, dude. I'm starving. You know what we need, Mike? Okay. Subway. We need some Subway. Need some, need some pizza. Pizza? We need Subway, dude. These guys think their Subway is better than this. Let's go see their reaction. This pizza's junk. The only reason why I got it is right in front of me. I'm like, this is gonna take two seconds. I'm starving. Not worth it. You want to trade? No. <laughs> Dude, that <laughs> looks so good. We got a five. Dude, let's trade. No. Please. No. Anything. I'll do anything to trade. Five hundred bucks. No, no, deal. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? All right, so we're at Walmart now. Um, we need to get some white spray paint because Mike needs white. We already have red because the hood's red. So we need some tape, which we have. Check out this vape. 30 bucks, dude. This thing's mint. But anyways, do well, you think we should go flat or shiny? Definitely shiny. Yeah, I'll go gloss. We have to get these. All right, so we'll get one the, of each. That's the only white one left. Whatever. No 33% more. No, rip to us. I know you want to do another scan at it. Yeah. Dude, that was that took so long. <laughs> put put it down in the comments if you guys like that scan edit from last video. And if you didn't see it, definitely go check it out. Oh my god, I gotta get my ID checked because I'm getting spray paint. They think I'm gonna huff it. So we just got back to the shop. Um, we went to Logan Steel today. I thought we were gonna be powder coating, but you know me. I'm always late to everything and we actually couldn't do it today so we're gonna make arrangements to do that maybe next week hopefully um and we got mike here we're switching jobs today i'm gonna be the cameraman he's gonna be rudnick because he's a much better painter and all that than i am so go ahead mike well you want to do the rising sun hood so you want to have the circle in the top left you said right honestly whichever looks better I, saw, I think the top left would look better. I think I saw samples and it looked the best from the top left. So um, I'm going to use your spare forged steely as a template. And it has a little plastic ring on it, so it won't really damage the paint mm, too much. But that's a decent sized circle. So I'm just going to take one of the markers. <laughs> I'm going to take one of the markers and I'm going to trace around it just so I know where I can put the tape. And uh, once I get you know the circle mapped out, I can map out all the uh, white stripes and then uh, it's just scuff and paint at that point. Can we just take a second to admire like that this actually looks kind of good with just the red hood? I mean, 
It looks a lot better with my eyes than in the camera because I'm like staring at the camera right now. But I think it looks pretty badass. What do you think? It looks good. I think it looks pretty good. Other than the bumpers hanging off, but we'll fix that. Don't worry, time will come. So right now we're just cleaning it with the glass cleaner. And I wish like the paint would always look like this when it's wet because it look at this. Wet paint always looks better. And look at that. It just looks so much better. Oh dude. That's what happens when it sits at a junkyard. Yeah. <laughs> you getting stanty with it? Is that how you do it? Dude. You just like You're about to put me out of a job, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's I hope see that's how not let's see how perfect it is. It's already better than mine. <laughs> it's literally already better. All right. This will be good. It, I hope so. It'll be good. Because if I did, it wouldn't be good. So, uh, since we're switching jobs, I got to make my job pretty good. So, I'm going to try to get Stancy shots. Hopefully, they come out good. <laughs> Alright, so, both cars taped off, Rising Sun is taped off, I'm going to take the uh, this 3M filler pad and uh, go over all the red, make sure that it is scuffed up, even though, you know, you can see the paint, it's fairly scuffed up already, but it's whatever. I'm going to scuff it up, and then I'm going to use the uh, alcohol and wipe off all the scuffs and like loose paint and dirt that come up, and then it's on a painting. What's going on guys? So right now, <laughs> the, hood, the hood's all taped up. It's buff, it, well it's scuffed, and uh, I used acetone and wiped off all the uh, excess stuff, so Has now it's ready to paint. It has been hitting again. That's it's pretty buffed. sick. It's buffed. But uh, yeah, now we're gonna just hit it with the paint and see how it comes out. I think it'll come out good. What do you think about Stancy shots? My camera or your camera? My camera. That way you get a little bit longer of a reach. All right, that well, you're going to have to teach me how to use it. All right, I'll teach you how to use it. We'll be back. All right. So we finished painting the Rising Sun, now we're just heat gunning it to get it dry quicker and then it'll be all set. You guys wanted to see a rising sun hood? So Mike and I made it happen for you. Check it out. So as you guys can see, Mike killed it with the paint job. Big shout out to Mike. If you guys want to follow his channel, it's going to be in the link below. 
definitely go give him a subscribe. He doesn't post that much because he's always with Tommy and I, but it's all right. Um, I'm very stoked on how it came out. I hope you guys liked it because we did it for you and you guys wanted to see it going back to the old days. And we're going to end it with an O. Hopefully I can do it. And if not, I'm out of here.